Greetings gamer guys and gals, I'm one less one and welcome to uh, day two update of the Castle Channeling Incinerate Necromancer. Uh, the character is going fantastic so far. Um, I did happen to get level 84. I've been playing a lot off stream just because of work scheduling and school scheduling. I'm not able to stream as much as I would like to, but I have been progressing this character quite a bit. And I just wanted to give you guys an update on um, how the character has been uh, so far. So this is actually like my third day playing the character. This is going to be the day two update. Um, just because it's like the second time I'm updating you guys on the uh, on the character and the progression I've made so far with it. So I have uh, achieved what I think is a good level of gear to push into like tier six, maybe tier eight maps. I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable, a little more uh, a little more survivability um, and uh, damage output uh, has helped push this character into the zone where I feel comfortable. Uh, pushing past like tier threes and tier fours. Um, I did get a new wand uh, Just high spell damage and fire damage nothing else really to it. Nothing really flashy. It works out perfectly um, I did happen to pick up I th this ring um, a little while ago. It's like exactly perfect um, You know it gave me the, the cold resistance. I needed I needed the decks the in intellect is nice goes to my max mana has a good life roll it has a great max mana roll the rarity is like you know whatever stat but the chaos resistance is what i was really excited about um i was actually able to achieve 60 chaos resistance which is zero and merciless so when i'm in maps i uh, i feel a lot more uh safe against the um the chaos snakes and stuff that roam around i did happen to get this belt um it was a little bit more life a lot more armor and a little more uh specific to the resistances that i needed uh so i did upgrade for my last belt I did upgrade my boots from the last video, not as much life, but uh, higher resistances and movement speed, which is pretty sweet. Um, I was able to pick this helmet up just last night, actually. Um, uh, top tier roll on the life, uh, good max mana, which is nice, helps helps my uh, mind over matter. Again, just rarity, you know, I have some random rarity on my piece of gear, and then just one stat for the resistances, which is okay. Still have the... Uh, the six link, but I did re-roll it from the last video. I was able to uh, get a an essence of whatever I think it's greed, the tier six one, and rolled the life on it. And uh, this is what came out of it. Um, obviously, besides the decks, uh, I crafted that just because I need the stats for like my Vol Grace and uh, and whatnot. And uh, my biggest upgrade actually, which I got last night, was actually this necklace right here. This thing is really, really, really good for me. Um, you know, it has a little bit of spell damage, a little strength, and like a little max ES and like whatever. But I, what I was really excited about was the the life roll on it, which is like tier two, but the 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 uh, implicit 11% maximum life. Um, I was using the series foible before, and for an MOM build, it is pretty good. My mana regeneration is not nearly as high as it was. My max mana has taken a hit, but um, with uh, Warlord's Mark. Uh, the life leech and the mana leech sustains me just fine. So I don't really need a lot of mana regeneration like I thought I did. This necklace alone gives me uh, 400 health. Gives me actually 420 health. That's hilarious. I just realized that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it gives me 420 health just from this necklace alone, which is uh, pretty mind-blowing. Um, with my... With my auras up, so I use Enfeeble, Warlord's Mark, and I uh, have my um, Vol Grace and whatnot. Um, my uh, my setup right now that I have, um, uh, actually I need to change around, or is it that to there? Take that off my bar, and then we're good. So, uh, still using the Immortal Call, Tempest Shield, Bone Offering, Castle Damage Taken, Incinerate, uh, Fire Pen, Control Destruction, Firestorm, Castle Channeling, and uh, Control Destruction. The, uh, the character has turned out amazing. Um, I'm actually really surprised at how good um, my first character of this solo cell found uh, Hardcore Legacy has turned out. I don't think I've ever gotten as lucky as I have. Um... 
I don't know how much more I'll be playing this character. Not that I'm not having fun with it, but uh, it has proven its purpose. It has done what it needed to do, and it has uh, acquired me some uh, some good gear that I can uh, build builds around. You know, I've gotten uh, Dream Feather. I happened to pick this up a little while ago. I found a Carcass Jack. I have a Diet and Dawn. Um, I have a Terminus S, which I'm really excited about to try. I have a Wings of Entropy, Doom Sower, uh, Bones of Uller. I have, you know, just some random uniques and stuff throughout my stash tabs that, um, that I'm looking to try and, uh, make, maybe make a new build, um, and just, uh, explore another, another way of playing. So, uh, I'll probably be playing this for maybe another day or two, um, but I probably won't be pay playing it much more than that. Um, I do have a tendency to re-roll a lot of characters to, uh, to just experience the game in different ways uh, that I can. So uh, I am enjoying this character a lot. I'm really excited to keep playing it. Um, and when the time comes, I'll uh, update you guys on when I decommission him and start on my new character. But uh, until then, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button down there. I really do appreciate it. I'm one less one, and I'll see you next time.